very good morning students today we are going to learn history unit 1 the topic is what is history okay this lesson already we studied but I am going to revise this lesson today okay the topic is what is history see this term history the term history has been derived from the Greek word historia which means learning by inquiry learning by inquiry the term history has been derived from the Greek word historia which means learning by inquiry okay and see the next one This is telling the time in history. Telling the time in history. In history, a very, very important one is time period. Which period these people lived? For example, the old Stone Age people lived. Okay, the new Stone Age people lived. So that is a very important to know in which period the people lived so that's why in history the telling the time in history is very important one okay see this the time in history is calculated in years in years using using bc bce ad and ce okay so these are the terms they were using okay yes which is means BC, BCE, AD, okay, CE. What is the full form of a BC before Christ? Okay, BCE means before common era, and AD, Anno Domini, Anno Domini, and the CE means common era, common era, okay, and next is. This one is, we understand the period and the lifestyle of people of old stone age from used tool, stone tools, used stone tools. How we can understand the old stone age peoples? Because they used tools, tools, okay. That's why the period called a old stone age. Why the period called old stone age? Because in those in, the, in those times the people were used a tools by stone. Okay, they made up the tools were made up by stone. That's why the time period called a old stone age. Okay, children. Okay, see that. Uh, see this uh, tools how they made out okay see that uh, uh, designs and all see this all the tools were made by stone okay stone nowadays tools are made by uh, iron and the steels and those days they didn't they didn't they didn't use the irons they used only in the olden days First, in the from the beginning, they used a stone tools only. Okay, because they only know known the stone how to make. And uh, see this next one is coins and uh, script inscriptions. Coins and the uh, inscription okay the study of coins study of coins the study of inscription see that pneumosmetics okay the pneumosmetics that means the study of coins epigraphic epigraphic means the study of inscription the study of inscription okay children Numismatic is the study of coins, 
topography the study of description and next is the ancient period in ancient period the people lived in caves used to draw paintings in rocks called rock painting where they lived in the ancient people they lived in caves okay while they living in the caves the people used to draw painting in rocks called rock paintings they might have wished to record their activities okay they might have wished to record their activities through these paintings okay why they painted in the rocks they have to record their activities through these paintings which paintings this rock paintings okay next is prehistory pre story see that pre the period when is the prehistory the period between the use of first stone tools and the innovation of writing systems is pre story the period between the use of uh, first stone tools and the invention of writing systems is pre history stone tools and excavated materials stone tools and excavated materials and rock paintings are the major source of the pre history what are the major source stone tools excavated materials and rock paintings are the major source of the prehistory okay children what are the major source of the prehistory one is stone tools excavated materials and rock paintings are the major source of the prehistory okay and the second one is see this sources of history sources of history there is two sources there is two sources one is archaeological sources and second is literary sources archaeological sources and literary sources archaeological sources see this pottery toys tools ornaments coins and rock edicts okay and also the monuments monument means palace fort temples and stupa a monastery these all the things called it or archaeological sources okay archaeological sources and second one is literary sources literary sources okay literary sources one is epics poems accounts by foreign travelers okay the foreign travelers who came to india they were researched all the things who how the life styles of the uh, old stone age peoples okay they gave the uh, writings about it our uh, old stone age peoples and works works of indian authors like uh, thiruvalluvar okay and uh, also the folk songs uh, and all the things okay secular literature religious literatures secular literatures religious literatures see that epics ramayana mahabharatam devaram these are called religious literatures okay ramayana mahabharatam devaram and also tiruvasakam okay 
these are called a secular literatures okay children and the next one is the mighty emperor asoka the mighty emperor asoka the most famous ruler of ancient india was emperor asoka okay in ancient india the most famous ruler of ancient india called a, what is name the emperor asoka okay asoka gave up war after seeing many people grieving death after the kalinga war kalinga war okay he was the first to give up war after victory he was the first to build up hospitals for animals asoka chakra with 24 spokes in our national flags was taken from the sarnath pillar of asoka okay children that is very important ones asoka chakra with 24 spokes how many spokes in asoka chakra 20 more 20 more 24 spokes in our national flags was taken from the sarnath pillar of asoka Charles Allen wrote about a book titled The Search for the Indian's Lost Emperor which provide a comprehensive accounts of Ashoka a comprehensive accounts of Ashoka and see this this inscription were observed and the rocks and sanji to stupa and sarnath pillar help to understand the greatness of asoka to the world greatness of asoka to the world the sarnath pillars help to understand how the asoka the famous and the ancient india emperor how he lived how was he was a famous emperor okay so these are the evidence the asoka pillar the sarnath okay pillars and also the sanchi stupa these all the evidence to show the mighty emperor ashoka how he lived how he lived okay so children and next is today we are leading a safe life with all modern equipments but our ancestor did not live in such a safe environment there might have been the might have been chance of wild animals and entering their caves but they realized that dogs could help them to prevent the entry of such dangerous animals by its sniffing skills the dogs it has the sniffing skills because of the sniffing skills the olden peoples okay they protect uh, the dogs for using hunting and activities hunting activities okay hence they started domesticating dogs for their protection and hunting activities hunting activities okay children so we discussed uh, about history okay about history and the time telling the times in history and also the rock paintings okay and uh, lifestyles of the olden age peoples the sources of history and uh, the great emperor great great emperor ashoka okay children and go through these videos we'll continue in the next videos okay May God bless you. We'll meet again.
next videos thank you children thank you all